We now want to evaluate integrals that are of an even or an odd function. Integrals of even functions, because they're symmetric to the y-axis, if you're given f as an even function, then the integral of f of x dx from negative a to a, notice we're going as far to the left of the y-axis as we are to the right of the y-axis, so we're going along the x-axis. We can instead take the integral from 0 to a and double it. In a similar idea, if we have an odd function, a function that's symmetric to the origin, then the integral of f of x dx from negative a to a will always be 0 because the positive area on one side will be negated by the negative area on the other side. Let's look at some specific examples. Let's take the integral from negative 3 to 3 of x to the fourth plus x squared. Because this is clear an even function, if you would replace x's with negative x, we'd wind up with the same resulting equation. So we can instead take 2 times the integral from 0 to 3 of x to the fourth plus x squared dx. So we have 2 times x to the fourth, the integral of that becomes x to the fifth divided by 5. The integral of x squared is x cubed over 3. We go from 0 to 3. Notice 0 makes it a little easier as we do our substituting. We have 2 times 3 to the fifth over 5 plus 3 cubed over 3. Now we're going to minus 0 so we don't have to bother to write that down. 2. 3 to the fifth is 243 over 5 plus 27 over 3. So if we get a least common denominator here of 15, 3 times 243, that gives us 729 plus 5 times 27, that gives us 135. So we have 2 times 864 over 15, which gives us 8, 12, 16, 7, 28 over 15. Now, we also want to look at the integral from negative pi over 4 to pi over 4 of the sine of x dx. If you recall, the graph of the sine of x does this and is symmetric to the origin. So, although we could figure that the integral of the sine of x is negative the cosine of x, we can simplify our calculations by simply writing 0 because the area to the right is going to be completely offset by the negative area to the left from pi over 4 to negative pi over 4.